Jocelyn Benson, the Secretary of State here in my beautiful state of Michigan, uh, has repeated that Michigan's Secretary of State office is under threat from election integrity advocates. Under threat? For election integrity, you're the Secretary of State. You should want election integrity. How can that be a threat? Patrice Johnson joining me now, Pure Integrity Michigan Elections Chair. Patrice, nice to see you today. Well, nice to see you too. Thanks, thanks for inviting me on. Uh, what is this about? What, what, on, under threat, she hasn't done what's required by the Constitution. Didn't we have this thing on the ballot here uh, two, two, three, four years ago that said uh, voters, not politicians? Didn't we have that, Patrice? And in that, that was passed by wide margins, did it not require the Secretary of State, Jocelyn Benson, to clean up the voter rolls, to take away people that don't live here or died or whatever the case might be, maybe they're incarcerated, whatever it is. And, and has she done that? She's required to do that by law. Has she done that? Well, uh, actually, no. Um, the issue is really that the voter rolls are getting much, much worse. We have more registered voters in the state than we have uh, people of voting age population. And that, compare that to other states, which average around 69% of registered voters compared to the population. So we're really out of whack. Um, and that is under her watch, yes. Um, so why would she not do what's required by the, con not just by the law, it was enshrined in the constitution of the state. Well, how can she not be in violation? She is in violation and she's been found against. Uh, but what's the penalty? Well, uh, every time the courts find against her, she does make mild changes, but um, she's not doing what I would call uh, executive type of leadership in cleaning up the voter rolls. She's, she is in violation and, until she gets corrected and then her corrections are mild. So there, it's just not, it's not cutting the mustard, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, it's not cutting the mustard at all. So what do you do about it? I mean, you, you file your complaint, you, 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 what do you do, Patrice? Well, we have a group called Souls to the Rolls and uh, any, any listener can do this. You can go to checkmyvote.org and enter your address and see if there are other people registered to your, to your address. And uh, if you can then go tell the clerk that these people do not live at my home, this is my home where I live and I can, I can attest to the fact that uh, these people don't live here, they can take them off the voter rolls. Because the issue with, ex with uh, bloated voter rolls is that they are just ripe for, for someone to steal people's votes. Um, and that, that's the whole issue. The, the voter rolls are the whole foundation of a good elect electoral system. And without cleaning them, there's just huge risk of fraud. So that's what we, that's what our Souls to the Rolls program does. Through Check doesn't My seem, Vote. I mean, Patrice, I don't mean to be so bold. It doesn't seem that she cares about election fraud, if that's the case. I mean, if she did, you'd clean it up. The Constitution says you have to do it. The Democrats push this idea of politicians should be second seated to the voters. Voters, not politicians, that's what they sold us, right? So why would I have any belief that they don't want voter fraud based on what you're telling me? Well, I can't read their minds. All I can do is tell you that our voter Short rolls read. are a mess. <laughs> and, and it takes every citizen to get involved to clean those voter rolls up. So that's what we really but, need. Okay, so what do I do? Act. If, if uh, I'm here and I think if there's voter rolls that are contaminated, I'll use that word, I think it's accurate enough, contaminated voter rolls in my township or my precinct in my township, because there's two or three precincts in my township, like so many places, right? Yeah, uh, what if right. I think it's contaminated? Well, then you would come to uh, Peer Integrity Michigan Elections or Michigan Fair Elections and join our Souls to the Rolls program. And you would then work with your local clerk and work in your local area to check your voter rolls. So we have analysts looking at the rolls and then we have people that go and verify the information that they find. And then they compile that information and take it into the local clerk and say, you know, these 15 people were dead. Um, and here, here are their obituaries. Here are pictures of their tombstones. So These it's up to me. So, so it's up to me now to do the job that she's supposed to be doing, which she should do automatically. Yes, but, that's but correct. But that's fine as long as I know what, what is required. What is required is citizens have to get involved. You know, look at the voter rolls. If you know your neighbor died, whatever, or moved away, whatever. You can check that, right? Hey, Bob Smith, he, he died. He was an old guy. He died last year. You can check. Is that what you're telling me? 
Yes, at checkmyvote.org, you can, you can check by address. Um, you can check, for example, who's registered to vote, who happens to be registered at a, a post office. Check, what's that called? Check, check my vote? Checkmyvote.org. And right. uh, we, we have a whole program that we use through affidavits and through canvassers and, and, and analysts to identify duplicate voters, dead voters, uh, voters that uh, maybe um, are registered to an address that we ha know happens to be an apartment building. You can't have a ballot mailed to an apartment building without an apartment number and uh, because the post office can't deliver it. So all of those need to be corrected. And that is taking citizen involvement. So we have about 600 volunteers around the state that are actively working on this. And we need everyone to get involved because uh, Michigan's voter rolls are probably the worst in the nation, I would have to say. You know, worst in the nation, which means it's ripe for fraud. It doesn't mean that Bob Smith died and he's going to cast a ballot. But it means he could, it, it, because yes, what it happens, if somebody requests a ballot for dead Bob, and dead Bob gets a ballot in, in his mailbox, then dead Bob gets the, it, what is this, Chicago? Well, you can go online and change your, uh, change where you want that Epstein ballot mailed. Yeah. So that's the problem. When you have a, where you have a corrupted voter rolls, um, they're subject to people manipulating the information and, and having ballots sent where they shouldn't be sent and people casting them who shouldn't be casting them. Right. That's right. All right. Well, Patrice, greatly appreciate you being here as always. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. Thanks for spreading the word. Uh, we'll, we'll have you back again. Don't worry, because voting starts in what, two weeks? We'll have you back again. Don't worry. Yeah. Thank, Thank, you, Thank you, very you very much. much. Bye, Steve. And I'm going to vote early. You know, I got people that why did you do that? Because that's what I've decided to do. Because I think it's the right thing to do, because I think that showing up on Election Day down by a million votes in Michigan is a bad place to be. I'd rather be down by a 1,000 votes or 100,000 votes or close to even before Election Day. That's what I'd like. I want a chance to fight like a Democrat, and darn it, I'm going to do it. Uh, I, I am going to do it. Uh, yeah. Now, did you know there is nearly $1 trillion in infrastructure and pandemic funds yet to be spent? That's right. There's a massive amount of money that the lame duck administration is pushing hard to spend in their last few months. If Joe Biden can push out these funds, we could see another prolonged inflation surge, just like I did during COVID. I'm sure there, you remember the effects. It's still here, all that inflation. But there is hope a surge in prices can be beaten. And the gold IRA from Birch Gold is the ultimate inflation hedge for your savings. To see how to protect your IRA or 401k, get a free information kit on gold by texting the word Gruber to 989898. Plus, Birch Gold's special offer has been extended through the election. When you make a purchase, they're going to give away free Trump silver coins. These unique collectibles depict Donald Trump defiantly raising his fist after the attempt on his life. Don't miss your chance to own this one-of-a-kind piece of history preserved in a silver coin. Protect your savings from Biden's spending spree. Get your free Trump silver coins text gruber to 98 98 98 that's gruber to the number 98 98 98 remember follow me on twitter follow me on truth social follow me on instagram and and x and facebook oh and you can help support the show by becoming a subscriber on our sub stack at the steve gruber show you'll get exclusive content come and get it free for all free speech friday will continue after this